Coming into the pits in FP2, everything all looked fairly normal and then suddenly it wasn't. What happened? Oh, it's all part of the practice. Uh, check how, the, how strong the engine is uh, in these hot conditions. Um, no, it wasn't ideal. It got slightly hot and uh, when we, we connected the, the fuel breather, um, yeah, caught fire but we could switch it off and, uh, and restart again. So yeah, just a bit of a barbecue feeling, but it was uh, yeah, nothing, nothing too bad in the end. Is it something the engineers are going to have to look at for a no, no, race just a, just a procedure and just in these conditions because it's so warm, but nothing uh, worrying or concerning for, for the rest of the weekend. Mm -hmm. It looks, I mean, on the face of it, it looks quite good here. And uh, as, as a driver, you enjoy this track. Are you looking forward to the race here? I'm loving this track. Um, it's really a really special place, very technical, a lot of rhythm. Um, on the performance side, I, no, I don't think we, we're really happy. I mean, we're finishing quite far away in FP2 and, uh, and uh, yeah, at the moment, don't have the pace for, for, for the top 10. So, um, yeah, we need to find something for tomorrow. Looking at your nearest rivals, Haas are just sort of one point ahead, nine points to Alfa Romeo. Are they the targets here, just to finish ahead of them as the season I comes I mean, it's, it's the, the target until the end of the year. I um, think it should not look too much at the championship and more like take race by race and, and try to, to do the best job we can. But um, yeah, clearly compared to the last three weekends, um, it seems to be a little bit more difficult here. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll work. Um, tonight and I think we need to find at least three or four tens if we want to be uh, able to beat these guys. And that upgrade on the car, that front wing, are you able to feel the difference there? Ah, it's minor changes so, so far we need to spend a bit more time to analyze it.